Well, I want to talk a little bit about computers this time because, uh, you know, I don't know if I consider myself a dinosaur or what, but, you know, I I liked when Windows 2000 came out. I remember I was like the first one to get that copy of that stuff, and um, I, you know, I used to buy all their software all the time. First one on the block to get it. And then, I don't know, something happened with Microsoft, and I, I like, this computer itself, like I'm using right now, is... Um, it's an older computer, but it used to have Vista on it. I hated that, and I put XP on it. And then Windows 7 came out. I hated that. And I'm thinking, well, let's see what Windows 8 looks like. I hate that even worse. So I could sang with XP, but I always use, like, the classic menus and stuff. I don't even use the XP menus. And um, another thing is, when it came out with uh, Office 2007, it was, uh, it was a mess. I hated it. Uh, look, Microsoft Office from 1995, then they had, you know, 1997 and 2000, 2003. I mean, they weren't that much different from each other, 2003 being the best one or whatever, and that's it. I mean, you can actually use 97 for pretty much everything, too, right? Uh, Office 97. It's not that, for most people, it ain't going to matter. And I would say I'm actually an advanced user. I was doing a lot of heavy financial calculations, pro formas, a lot of data mining, you know, interrelating between access and, and I wasn't using it like a lot of these lunkheads. I wasn't like a professional programmer. I was more an accounting numbers guy, <clears throat> but I was very good at manipulating data because I had a heavy math background. But when it came out with my office 2007, I hated it. That stupid ribbon on the top, 2010, 2013, I can't stand them. So I'm figuring I'm probably you know you can go to Open Office, but there's some things about Open Office just it ain't as good. You got to use the real McCoy. And um, I personally wish nobody upgraded with anything. It's like, um, and actually a lot of corporations are sticking with XP. I know that. And uh, if you got Office 2003, it's good enough because it really does every damn thing you want. Those ribbons are stupid. I hate them. And I'm not a lightweight user. No way. Now. And I realize I have to freaking live with it. And here's a couple sites, ClassicShell.net. And what it'll do is it'll take Windows 7. Now, I have a newer laptop than this one. I never use it. It's got Windows 7 on it. It's an Asus. I can't stand Windows 7. It sucks. Okay? I mean, I can get around on it fine, but I, well, I say, why bother? What the hell do they fix here? They screwed things up. So I'm kind of like resentful of that, and I don't use it. But I'm going to download and put this on it, Classic Shell. I saw a lot of review views. Most places are rating it five stars for reliability. It makes your Windows 7 or Windows 8 computer just like classic version, like prior to XP, which is the best way. No screwing around. You just hit the start button. Everything's right there. You know, you got your back button, the up button on your folders and stuff. It's a lot simpler, man. It's bullshit with this freaking Steve Bomber. He screwed the whole company up since that jerk took over. But anyway, that's just me out living on this. But so I'm, I just want to make people aware of this because we're stuck with this Windows 8 crap. I and mean, every time you buy a laptop, it's going to have Windows 8 on it. So, you know, the next one I buy is going to have Windows 8. And I'll probably just convert my other Windows 7 one over to, uh, which isn't this one. This originally had Vista, and I put. I use this one all the time, <laughs> although even the sound card in it, it's a little flaky once in a while, but it's easier to use because of XP, and it didn't have XP on it originally. It had Vista, so I'm going to probably, I'm going to change my Asus over to Windows uh, that has Windows 7 with this classic shell. It's going to make it beautiful, easy to use, and the other thing is um, I'm probably going to get a copy of uh, Microsoft Office 2013 and try out this classic menus. It doesn't look bad. I mean, as long as I can find stuff with the drop-down menus, I don't give a shit, because basically that's what it looks like. You know, he drops down tools, you know, same damn thing, protect the document, free, you know, formatting and insert this, and you know. It's the same old bullshit. It's got it all right here. So, to me, that's good enough. <laughs> that just fixed everything, as far as I'm concerned. So uh, I'm going to actually uh, try these two things out. I know they got rave reviews on it, but I want people to become aware of it. I knew they would come out with a product like this because Microsoft is getting dumber and dumber. I mean, it's like uh, 
You know, Bill Gates, I wasn't really a fan of his, but he actually, he's the one that made that company. And since he left, man, they're just coming out with all these dumb ideas. I just can't stand his stuff. But this this fixes all the crap that's in Microsoft Office. Um, actually, this is 2010-13, and you also have a version for 2007 um, that you could fix it with. You know, you could fix it up the old way. So uh, this this site, addintools.com. And I'll show you, you know, where the links are. Post them down below. But uh, since we're stuck with this garbage, um, you know, this is the best way around it because, uh, you know, I can learn in the wheel all over again. But why the hell should I? Why the hell should I? It was more or less advanced user in all these damn things. I was pretty much function as the uh, the network guy too and the computer guy in the office besides being the uh, controller, you know. Uh, they probably they hardly ever call the computer guy in to do anything. I fixed pre every stupid problem there was. You know, I integrated Access Database into um, custom programs in the system. Wrote custom programs in a, a re with a report writer the, with um, in the accounting software. And I've done a lot of advanced spreadsheets. And here I'm looking at this shit. It's like I'm going back to stage one again. I have to relearn the wheel for what. Is this supposed to help me, Microsoft? So I'm going to use this uh, add-in, addintools.com for the Office versions, and um, also Classic Shell for Windows 7 and Windows 8. Now I'm not afraid to get another computer. I might get a Toshiba this time. Asus makes a good computer, and uh, the one I'm using right now is a Gateway, but, you know, it's it's been reliable as all hell. I had it for a number of years, and it's taken a beating at the gym and everything else, so... But just the one thing I really have a beef with, uh, I don't. Really, I didn't like Windows 7, and I hate Windows 8. So this classic shell brings it right back to snuff. I personally can't stand Office 2007, 2010, and 2013. Um, if I'm stuck using this, I'm going to use this add-on tool to it and bring up the uh, thing right back to the normal menus where I can find things and use all my skills. So... Uh, but I just figured I'd point this out. There are solutions out there for people who have been, you know, well trained on these things, and you put a lot of hours into learning every little aspect. They're just going to change the wheel for the hell of it. You know, I'm not somebody that's actually like a computer guy just for being a computer guy. The object is money, money. And if some jerk that designs programs decides to make things more difficult for me to find information. They're killing my objective. You know, I know what the Microsoft is doing. What they're trying to do is just uh, sell more garbage that you have to have this to the latest, greatest. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. I can't stand it, to tell you the truth. So these are two ways to bring things right back into snuff. Add in tools.com for the, the newer Office versions, 2007, 2010, 2013. And Classic Shell for um, Vista. X and uh, Windows 7 and uh, actually Vista you want to get rid of that shit Windows 7 and Windows 8